I like how it's just Natsuki period, Yuri period. Sorry, help me! My boys, I got something special for y'all today. Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm gonna be playing the plus stories too. We're gonna do a new game. Let's jump right in. Okay, here we go. Hey! <laughs> I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, ra waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Oh, sh that girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children, okay? You know the kind of friend you'd never see making yourself today. This is mean! Oh, what? But it is kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Oh, okay. I, I get it a little bit. This is so f up. Like, that's the homie. You've seen him you know, for a long time. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Uh, but if she's gonna chase after me like this, I almost feel better running away. However, I just sat and idle uh, in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up. Oh, oh, I overslept again! But I caught you this time, fool! Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's me, Rekka! Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Bro, ain't nobody assuming y'all a couple, okay? I, I know this is me talking to me, but like, yo, ain't nobody assuming sh** out here, I right? Y'all in, what, middle high school? I don't know. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be me, even if you want to. <laughs> yeah, I like her. Uh, whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> uh, we cross the street together and make our way to school, okay? As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute, okay? Uh, by the way, Rekka, have you decided on a club to join yet? Oh, a club? Uh, no. No, because I'm not trying to stay after school longer than I have to. I'm trying to get the f home and play some video games, my boys. That's all I used to do in high school. Or go hang out with the homies. Maybe anime club. I do regret, you know, I do regret not joining anime club back in the day. Did we even have a DDR club? I should have joined that sh A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any club. I haven't been looking either. Okay, well, at least we were late on that. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. When I say that, did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where we dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Oh, come on, yo. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by an average while spending my free time on games and then... Okay, I ain't gonna lie, this is me right here. Now, this is me, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize. That was a problem. <laughs> or have any skills before college. Man, you gotta have shit before college. You just go into college. You know what's funny? High school is mad hard to socialize in, I think. People got their own little groups already. It's already, like, implemented. And maybe because I did not have a good school experience, personally. Your boy got bullied. All kinds of shit. But we won't worry about any of that, yo. Cause fuck all of them. High school, I remember, was tough. Like even just to socialize with new people. Like people like immediately got the assumption you're weird as soon as you start talking to them. It felt like. Um, but college, everybody was clean slate. I knew everybody at my college. Every, pretty much every single person. I went to a small one. Everybody was trying to meet new friends and stuff too. So like it was mad easy, and everyone's older. Anyway, I'm I'm ranting. Uh, your happiness is really important to me, you know? That's a good friend right there, my boys. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Yo, what's a neat? <laughs> I'm about to Google this shit up right now. Oh, I've, I've never heard of this. Not in education, employment, or training. I had no idea. Used by the government to describe a young person who's no longer in school or does not have a job, or is not trained to do a job. Huh, okay. Yo, yo my boys, you learned something new each day. Sure as fuck didn't learn anything in school, but- <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. 
Muff, do it to make you happy, not her. No promises though. Will you at least promise that you try a little? Okay, that I can promise. There you go. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Uh, yay! <laughs> Uh, why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? You should be letting yourself get lectured by your friends. That means that they, they give a shit, my boy. More than that, I'm surprised I even relent to her. Relent? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me, makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is an or yo the art style already is was good my boys. I feel like I'm playing an anime. The school day is as ordinary as ever. It's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I can't yo go find the anime club my boys. It's probably somewhere out there. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Oh, then, <laughs> yo, that, okay, that's pretty funny. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was facing out. I look around and realize I'm not the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah. There is no way I'm going to your club. Oh. Ah, oh, meanie. I hate you. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. I definitely wish in high school I tried out a club. At least tried it out. The idea of a literature club now sounds kind of dope. I don't know. You kind of just start getting interested in shit when you're an adult, man. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be a fun way to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show her interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. Okay, that's dope. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. I'm just going for the, like a day, bro. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of Oh! <laughs> Yo, she's sneaky. Um, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And Asuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> don't make promises you can't keep. You know, I don't even blame her. <laughs> I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. Damn! Um, a section of the school I rarely visit, Sayori full of energy, swings open the classroom doors. Everyone, the new member is here. Like I should just go in an announcement like he officially joining. I told you don't call me a new member. Eh? A glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting. Oh, she's so nice! It was good! Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. <laughs> oh my goodness. Y'all have been here like a minute and you're already starting some drama. Ah, oh, Rekka, what a nice surprise! Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club. Oh my god. It's full of incredibly cute girls. I get it, bruh. Chill out. <laughs> they, 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 ain't none of them interested in you. I cut 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 it. I right, let's drop let's dr drop it at the door and be a gentleman. What are you looking at? If you wanna say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. Huh. The girl with the sour attitude. 
whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first year student. She is also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayuri. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. <laughs> Sayuri says that quietly into my ear and then turns back towards the other girls. Oh my god, this thing, yo. <laughs> yo, I'll be in the car, I'll be vibing to this, my boys. Oh my goodness. Anyway, isn't that Suki always full of energy? And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Okay, so that's Natsuki, and that's Yuri. Okay. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, uh, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayuri and Natsuki. Ah, uh, oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Rekka. Monica smiles sweetly. Like, oh, you see y'all, y'all see the little poetry, the little, the little... That shit, yo! We do know each other. Well, we really talked, but we were in the same class last year. Oh, and how about that? Monica was about, oh, Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. <laughs> it's probably being at least more than one friend, but I just remember one friend. And he is reminding me of this so <laughs> now. He would just like, I don't know, when I when I meet girls, like I just assume they're taken, I just be nice, I, like I'm not thinking immediately like, oh she's hot, you know, I'm trying to like, you know, hook up with her or whatever, or trying to be in a relationship or something, I don't care about any of that. You gotta like be friends with people. And this motherfucker immediately, after one second of looking at all of them, is like, it, it, he's going through the whole list right now, what he wants to do. And I, yeah, I used to have a friend that was like that, it was, and you, you could tell, Every single girl that he talked to that he might have been interested in or all of them He would like start sweet talking them a little bit a little high pitch or tone. It was weird May very uncomfortable. <laughs> so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little uh you, you too Monica my boy buck up Come sit down Rekka. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them I'll go get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Yo, I don't blame you. The cupcakes, my girl. Uh, then how about I make some tea as well? It's a girl of culture right here, my boys. I just want to let you know because tea, like unsweetened tea, goes with like every dessert. Everyone, yo, you, yo. That's what's up. You, you, you thinking, not the box. 200 IQ play. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As I already mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayuri. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayuri. As you should, Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Do we guys see him? Ooh! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen uh, white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats yo that's what's up the whiskers are drawn with icing and pieces of chocolate were used to make ears oh that's dope so cute i had no idea you were so good at baking natsuki <laughs> well you know just hurry and take one sayuri grabs one then monica i follow it's delicious um Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. Oh, I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. She, yo, I already know what she's thinking. She's trying to get a little feedback on like how it is. Cause I don't know, whenever I serve food to people, you wait for that reaction to hear if it's good or not. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Me, them for you or anything. Eh, I thought you technically did. Sayuri said, well, maybe. <laughs> but not for you, you know, dummy. I, I, I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri turns to the table carrying the tea set. 
She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I wouldn't know my ass do read. You boy gave up reading early in life. Let me, let me tell y'all right now. I was like forced to in high school, obviously, for like class and shit. Yo, it's gotta be like 15 years. Uh, I guess, Wait, you ain't been reading, bro. Don't lie to him. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. Eh? That's not insulting, Yuri looks away. I meant that you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading may not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Okay, yo, we, other than being a douche, we're kind of the same person. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, you know, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged her by Sayuri. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayuri seems really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? She's so nice, too! As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. That's a good president right there, too. All these girls are dope. Um, Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could have probably been a board member for any of the major clubs. Were you a leader of debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around major clubs. Uh, it feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is a really great leader. Yeah, she sounds like it. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. Oh, it is a new club. Um, you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. That is a very true statement. Uh, yeah. No, no, completely true. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Damn, she, yo! <laughs> She's making me feel a little intimidated right now. But that makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. They are actually all a lot, well, they are a lot different. Yeah, <clears throat> I would say these two are relatively similar. Um, these two definitely seem very unique polar opposites. Um, Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Although I don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. I just gotta give it a try. If you don't like it, you don't like it. I don't know. So, Rekka, what kind of things do you like to read? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, uh, manga, uh, comics, um, <laughs> uh, well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Oh, we got a we got a manga fan. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. I'm actually curious to see what she's interested in. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Oh boy, it is me for books technically, but yo, for games, that was good. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on. 
clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds something, she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Yup, for sure. Death Note! <laughs> um, isn't it amazing how a writer can deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop? Uh, anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I'm sorry, I'm so stupid, y'all. Um, uh, I read a horror book once. Desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well have be having the conversation with a rock. No, I mean, like, you just gotta, like, you just gotta ask them, like, what is it about, like, horror that makes you so into it? What's your favorite series? You don't have to, like, always have to relate. Really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. That's why video games are so successful, yo. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, but only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. I, yo, I, yeah, funny, I used to be like Natsuki. I, I used, well, I didn't hate horror, but I couldn't play like horror video games. It was really hard. When I remember when I first started streaming is when I first started playing uh, Five Nights, the first game. It was tough at first, and like Resident Evil, I had to like kind of get over this like mental hump that like this isn't this is just a game not like reality movies is different because you're not you know you're not playing the character and whatnot but yeah I it, it was tough at first oh why is that well I just Mitsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second never mind that's right you like uh usually like to write about cute things don't you Natsuki well, what what gives you that idea you left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give That Back. Oh my god, you about to pull her out like that? Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayuri <laughs> sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulder. I'm not cute! <laughs> Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Uh, why don't you share them sometime? No! <laughs> Natsuki adverts her eyes. You wouldn't like them? Oh, okay, so she's a little... She feels a little... I don't know if insecure is the right word, but like she's a little worried about how people react to them or something. Ah, uh, not a, that, not confident. That's a better. Well, uh, yeah, insecure is not confident. <laughs> Would you look at that, y'all? It says sometimes you say something in your head, you just gotta talk to yourself to figure it out, and like you know if you're crazy like me. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. I'm yeah, very true. I could not write a poem and share it. Nope, nope. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? I'm assume she does. Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. That, if, if she's a really good writer though, it could also intimidate people. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yes, it's safe. okay, never mind. I guess it's safe for Yuri. Uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. And next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Yeah! Let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. That makes sense. Isn't that right, Rekka? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Oh no. Don't. Oh no. Oh, uh, what's that? Now that we're back to my original topic of me joining the club, I boldly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. 
I never said I would join this club. Sorry, man, I've convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. Oh, I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me. They all, y'all, they all literally. Uh, how y'all doing? Uh, Yo, <laughs> there is four pairs of eyes, which means eight eyes just stare straight at me right now. Yeah, all four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes, but oh, I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. Rekka, you all, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with the- Oh my god! Cringe, bro! Cringe! No, I ain't even finishing it. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yo, I don't know why, but Monica looked like she was almost on the verge of tearing just by her smile right now. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, I'm so happy. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Oh, hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. All right, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Ooh, do I get to write poems? Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Rekka, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> Yo, she got, that, she got that little, you know what I'm saying, y'all? Little pose going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can I impress... Oh, can I really impress... Class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills. I can feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Itsuki clean up the food. Hey Rick, since we're already here, why don't we walk home together? That's right, Sayuri and I never walk home together anymore because she stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Alright, so we're gonna go walk home with the homie. Uh, with that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Matsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Are you, are you gonna have to now, my boy. You you locked in. You yo. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> I hate this guy. He's supposed to be me. Cause it says wreck it. It's not me, y'all. Okay, I'm not pull some shit like this. I'll just make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. All right, here we go, y'all. Oh, it's time to write a poem. Let's go. Uh, big words. You think your favorite club member will like? Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. All right, I'm gonna go with the homie Sayuri. Actually, I'm surprised Monica ain't in there, but that's uh, whatever. So, why is she hiding? Also, I love how these little uh, chibi stickers are animated and they're moving around. So, now, let's see, Nasuki likes cute, Yuri likes complex shit. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for Sayori here. All right, so I gotta pick 20 words. Sensation? No, that might that might be Yuri. Twirl? No, it's Natsuki. Okay, hold up, hold up. Together, I'll try together. Okay, there we go. All right, that makes sense. Hope? Okay. Oh, I, you know what? That was my favorite word out of that. So that was good. Romance? Oh, okay. I. Oh, anime. Horror. Lucky. Daydream. Parfait. Skipping. Sticky. I can see sugar or... No, I can see skipping. Oh, no. Okay, that's Natsuki. Fantasy. Scars. I'll try that. Okay, there we go. Uh, email. <laughs> what does that have to do with any of them? Warm. Happy. Okay, happiness. Okay. Man, man, a lot of them are like very opposite for her. Hi again, Rekka. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> Yo, I'm sure he was thinking about it. Nah, he went home and did his homework. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for us, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Rekka. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. He does, he, like, he deserves any slack. <laughs> Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. 
In last year too? I don't know if you plan to just come here hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, then I'll, you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mmm! Natsuki finds herself stuck saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. You know, you damn right, Natsuki. Yo! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Rekka always gets his best as long as he's having fun. This is true. Helps me with busy work without even asking me. Like cooking, cleaning my room. <laughs> How dependable. Sayuri, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. What? You gotta hear this story. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come you and Rekka can become good friends too? Um, Sayuri? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought some something today, you know? Wait, Sayori! Huh? Me? Uh, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind! Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't even thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Okay, that's pretty good. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal out of it if you don't want it to be. All right, well here. She reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Oh, did you get him a book? I didn't want you to feel left out. Oh, I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Yo! <laughs> of course we will discuss it, Yuri. We got, yo. I, I, it's the same thing as talking about, like, games or, like, movies with your friends. It's the same thing. It, this is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? <laughs> I cannot stand him. She even picked out a book I th think... She thinks I like, despite me not reading much, my boy, do not listen. I am a classical overthinker. Matter of fact, I'm taking the trademark for that right now. One of these days on Wreck and Merch, you're gonna see, just see me and classical overthinker next to it. You feel me? Until then, this motherfucker is trying way too hard and overthinking. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take out the book. Phew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayuri and Monica are having a cherry conversation in the corner. Hmm. Yuri's face is buried in a book, but I, I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Uh, meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Probably trying to find that manga, though. It looks, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? She just gave you a book! What are you talking about? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. <laughs> but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. Oh, y'all, I was always feeling a little too tired to read, y'all. <laughs> I'm just saying. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other club stuff. I don't know, I, I don't like think in my, maybe it's just me, but I don't think in my mind, I'm just like, you know what, I'm gonna go fucking put my feet up. And I'm just gonna go listen into this conversation going on right next to me. <laughs> I don't know who does that. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Uh, something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Oh, what do you mean? Even if we were to come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. Oh, okay. That's what she's worried about. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori take, Sayori's taking this very seriously. Uh, it's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do so you think food will do the trick? Oh, they, that might do the trick. What kind? Yo, yo, get Natsuki and make some more cupcakes, yo. Problem solved. Uh, 
Well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! <laughs> Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Uh, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. <laughs> anyway, we need to work out the details of the event itself. Yeah, I, I love Sayuri. I love her goofy attitude. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. Uh, I can't help but wonder what it'd be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, she kinda spooked me a bit! Yo, listen, Sayori, I just played FNAF, you can't do that to me! Oh! I found my eyes. I, I opened my eyes to find Sayori, Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. <laughs> Yo, get him! Does our school have a napping club? <laughs> You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in the club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that. Wow! I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayuri. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Oh, she be oversleeping too? Eh, uh, every day. That's not very convincing. How many days in the past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret! <laughs> I knew it. Come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. You gotta give the homies the benefit of the doubt, y'all. I can't even do that. <laughs> Look, Sayuri, it's raining all over you. Huh? Sayuri glances at herself. How's it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look at your hair is sticking out all around here. Ah! I run my fingertips down the side of Sayuri's hair to try to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. Yo, chill! My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's, just, there's more than just your hair. Motherfucker, you've been up all night Watch an anime. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's toothpaste stain on your collar right there. Actually, the shit look clean to me. I don't, I don't see shit. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But nobody would even notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't care about that. <laughs> Dang. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayuri. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Yo, relax! Oh my god! Huh? That's super me. Yeah, it is! Yo, why don't you have a girlfriend yet, bro? Sorry, but you'll thank me later. Uh, I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. <laughs> okay, I do like the little, like, I like how they got little anime joint splash arts. I don't know what you, whatever you want to call them. This is so funny. What is? I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Huh? Don't say that! You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't, aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. That button might come on. Damn! Yeah, you, you be careful with it. Um, why is this one so hard to close? Oh, he's literally... Um... You might want to let her handle that player. I'm just, just a recommendation. Y'all, y'all feel me? I, I struggle to fully close the button there. Chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. Ugh. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? Oh my god! <laughs> it means my boobs got bigger again. Don't say that shit out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... 
<laughs> yeah, what? What? My blade. <laughs> Why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Oh, it's not worth it. At all. <laughs> they still got the shit. I thought he was trying to like tie the bow thing, not like trying to be like you know all up in here. Sayori's hastily buttons her blazer once more. Phew! That's so much better. <laughs> Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it a button, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? Why are you saying <laughs> saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. Okay, so she'd like him, essentially. And you take uh, you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying these, all these embarrassing things. Huh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we already are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Um, yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. <laughs> You're doing it again, Sayuri. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. All right, everyone. Huh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share poems we wrote now? Yay! Rekka, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I fail to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayuri and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayuri is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. That's, yo, I used to have some clean handwriting back in school now. Cause like y'all on computers all the time now. So that now it's, it's whack. It's so bad y'all. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well. Reach into their bags. I do the same myself. Okay, uh, we're gonna show her poem first. You know what? I'm gonna do Monica. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem and I want her to know I'm putting in the effort. Hi, Rekka! You having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities, or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, alright? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Rekka. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But that's the sort of barrier we're all... We'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm, I like this one. Makes me think of something Sayuri would like. Is that so? You and Sayuri are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Eh, well, we may be good friends, but Sayuri and I are actually really different. Hmm? Well, that may be the case, but there are also similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being, you know? Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. Man, yo, she's good arena room. <laughs> Dang. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Uh -huh, I could be. Oh, gosh, I'm, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayuri's writing has some kind of gentle feeling to it. Uh, I can tell she likes exploring with emotions like happy and sad. Uh, happiness and sadness. Who knew someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure you'll end up trying different things a lot. It can take a while before I feel really comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. Uh, that's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. 
Everyone else might be a bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find the style that suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> uh, anyway, you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for somebody who claims to not be very good. <laughs> Uh, well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Okay. Well, let's read it then. Okay, here we go. Dang. Okay. Um, hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction that spackle protrude. <laughs> I don't even know what that meant. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No. I can't see. I reel, blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. That was pretty good. I, I mean, I, I don't... I imagine all there is going to, like be fire but I, I don't know anything about literature but that seemed really dope so what you think hmm it's very free form if that's what you would call it sorry i'm not really the right person to ask for feedback uh, that's okay uh yeah that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays uh that is a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines oh i didn't i didn't even think about that yeah that probably would be a thing huh uh, when performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Uh, what was the inspiration behind this one? Ah! Well, I'm not really sure if I know how to put it. Um, I guess you could say I had some kind of... I had some kind of epiphany recently. Oh! Uh, it's been influencing my poems a little bit. Epiphany? Yeah, something like that. Um, I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other. Anyway, um, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, uh, your brain gets too fixed on a specific point. If you try too hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Honestly, that's some good-ass life advice right there, too. Like, sometimes when I'm, like, I'll be, like, about to do something, and I just keep thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it, and then eventually I'm just like, you know, we just gotta at least f start you know what i mean that's very good advice just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later another way to think about um it is this if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long you'll get a big dark puddle of ink oh that's i like that i like that so just move your hand and go with the flow that's my advice for today Thanks for listening. Oh, she's so nice. All right, let's, uh, we'll leave Sayuri for last. Uh, let's do Yuri. Yo, my girl, what's good? Hmm? 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 Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Oh, um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Ah, uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri blushes, uh, her face in her hands. I can't help but notice it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I didn't really notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. Having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. And I think the most noticeable thing that I recognize in new writers is that they try to make this style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and form fit it fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds a train of thought as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different kinds of skills and techniques that go into writing even a single poem. 
not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. Yo, are these girls intellectual out here, y'all? Dang! And they supposed to be like high schoolers or something. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a bit biased though. Uh-oh. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry, it's fine. If you're not, it, I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself or to me or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it, that's a rare opportunity for her. Oh, which is kind of itself funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Okay, here we go. Oh, it's actually... Whoa, do they all have their different themes? Yo! She got like some viola, violin kind of stuff going on. All right, ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. I just noticed her handwriting is different too. The, she's got cursive going on. The last yet to be replaced by a sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickens, flickers. I flicker back. I don't get it. And then if I took my time, I probably would. <laughs> but I don't. But that was pretty good. Man, I kind of miss writing cursive after seeing this. Uh, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? No, you do not. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But you took a long time to read. Ah, well, I just don't get to read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? Well, that's a relief. Uh, also, I like the poem. Even though it was short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. Um, I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it was our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Yeah, no, Yuri, that was really easy to digest. Over, you know, over here with me. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Rekka. Oh, really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance it over after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts and feelings and experiences into their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. Dang, that's deep! And soon uh, to be left with nothing. That is more solemn uh, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Dope. Okay, that was sick. All right, so we're going to go do Natsuki next. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's still silent to start, so Monica. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. <laughs> Just me. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. Okay, okay, fair. You didn't say it was bad. Um, it just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want kids back? I'll pass. Ugh. Well, anyway, I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Oh, she got good handwriting too. What is that instrument called? Xylophone where you hit the, the wood? I think that's what that is. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> God, I actually love the ending. Nice. Yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like- No, I loved it! I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced I won't like it? Well... Because everyone in high school, okay, so they are in high school, uh, thinks that handwriting is supposed to be all sophisticated and stuff. Nah. So people don't even take my writing seriously. That's crazy. 
but isn't the point of the poem is for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Oh, okay, yeah. No, that makes sense, like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. You know, I... Oh, I get that. I get that a lot. And, like, it's, it's, it's not that you don't want to be supportive for people, but you also want to be also doing great things yourself. But, like, sometimes you may be low on motivation or something. I, I get that. that very much. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I said it for a rhyme at the end, but then it made it all fall flat on purpose. Okay, it helps bring out the feeling in that last line. It does! So you did. I guess uh, more went into it than I realized. That's what I meant to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. I didn't expect uh, that from the youngest... Oh, didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? I guess not. <laughs> I decided to humor her with my last comment. I really don't care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Okay. Alright, time to show it to Sayuri. <laughs> yo, yo, her face! She seems so entranced at the poem. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Rekka. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Huh? I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayuri. You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Huh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem, it's a record poem. And that makes it extra special. I can feel your feelings in it. Sayuri hugs the sheet against her chest. Aw, oh, you're so weird. Say she is not weird, yo. I'm really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you were, it just reminds me of how you really are a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. <laughs> uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Rekka. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, are you? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayuri. I'm not sure Sayuri sees the full picture of my motive here. <laughs> oh my god. This stupid motive, y'all. I'm sorry, it upsets me. Just go kick it with the homies, write some literature, have a good time. That's all there is to it. Then again, I cannot deny she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all, yeah? And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? Girl, she a good homie! That's my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. I'm sure she's not. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh! Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning that makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast! <laughs> Yo! That's right! Sorry. This is just a guess, but... You didn't wait until morning to write this. Or did you wait until morning to write this? No! Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit into a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. <laughs> well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. <laughs> yeah? I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Yo, that's my kind of meal in the morning too. Yo, I cooked two eggs, sunny side up, 
season them real good with a little, um, what's it called, Tony Satch, like the Creole seasoning, and then you go get a piece, a thin piece of toast, white bread, you toast it, and then you throw a little bit, a little layer of butter on there, strawberry jam, my boys, oh, very simple, oh, and don't forget the tea, y'all, very simple, yet eloquent breakfast for every day, my boys. Even though you were late for school, it's bad to skip breakfast, that's true. Actually, I, I don't eat breakfast anymore, but I feel like I remember when I was eating breakfast, I my mind was, I don't know, it was working better a little bit. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Yeah, but next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. All right, here we go, y'all. Phew! I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. There was a little, that was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone was judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across from Sailor and Monica are happy cha happily chatting. My eyes land on that Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read and tend to my watch, their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Did you say something? Oh no, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy, but thanks. There is this cute. You? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about it's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Oh boy. Huh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? She yo, she has a little firecracker out here, y'all. Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Oh, no. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayuri liked it. And Wrecked did too. Oh, no. They're bringing my name into this shit. Uh, so based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. And I don't expect to change it anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Oh boy, which I haven't yet. Mmm. And Rekka liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Oh. Y'all, the music stopped. It's about to go down. Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Oh! That's not what I- <laughs> The music changed! Oh! You're- you're just- Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Wreck appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours! Huh? How do you know that he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I- No! I was- If I was full of myself, I would literally go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy- Oh, oh my god, yo. Oh! Uh, yo. <laughs> Y'all, they arguing out here. Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Rekka starts showing up. Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This gun to follow you. Oh, yo, they are straight thugging out here, y'all. Damn. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both the girls, oh no, turned towards me. So they just noticed I was standing there. Wreck. She's, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Ex help me explain that, Rekka! Oh my god, y'all. <laughs> well, wait. 
There's a reason why we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey, convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Brecca? Um... Well... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing! But whoever I agree with, I'm sure they'll think more highly of me. So, of course, that's gonna be... Oh. <laughs> I like how it's just Natsuki period, Yuri period. Sayuri, help me! Natsuki! Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So I had her to Yuri. Yuri? Oh no. Yuri's expression is so defenseless, I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori! I need your help! <laughs> ah, yeah! Everyone's fighting and is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can you two keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Oh, Rekka. Well, that's her problem. This ain't about her. I, I agree. It is unfair for others to interject their own feelings into her conflict. Y'all see how I try to be more postured and fan- I'm not <laughs> at all, y'all. Unless I hear wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being, she would never. It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? You won't go throw down my side? Are you listening? You better go find him because you done lost your mind. This is exactly why, exactly why nobody likes... Ah! <laughs> Uh-oh. Nitsuki Yuri. You guys are my friends, and I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Yo! Talk to him, Sayuri! Yo, what's good? Nitsuki's poems... Oh my god, it's some anime kind of... It sounds like the background song in the anime, y'all. Y'all understand? Y'all watch from that? Like, them, them shows, like, they got music like this. I listen to them all the time. They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Because... Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always been. A lot of boob talk out here today, my boys. Big and big. <laughs> oh, yo. Oh, my God. Yo, this game. Woo. Okay, big and beautiful. Sayuri. Sayuri stands triumphantly. Oh, y'all y'all can't see me if I raise that. Yo, do I, yo, do I look like I'll be Sayuri right now? Oh my god, my knees, y'all! Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes up, and so you can sit down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayuri is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I, she, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing for me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. Okay, uh, that makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to nod. Such a genuine person really does make a good president regardless of what she says. If I could only get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's about time for us to leave. How do y'all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. Rekka, how about you? Yeah, I'd say about the same. Uh, it was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe 
you will learn something from your friends too. So your poems, your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod myself with a newfound determination. Rekka! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayuri beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayuri and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say that I'm not enjoying it either. Sayuri. Well, about what happened earlier. Hey, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. Uh, I promise they're both wonderful people. Oh, she's so nice, yo. You, uh, yo. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just want to get your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew! You know, Rekka, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Oh, looks like Sayuri hasn't got caught the kind of situation that I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but oh my god, dude. Does it really move? Oh. Well, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayuri. I pat Sayuri on the shoulder. I said that more to myself. Oh, I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayuri as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay, yeah, let's do this. All right, y'all, I'm gonna end it right here. I think this is a good good spot to do an outro. Yo, appreciate everybody tuning in and watching. Y'all already know this is definitely different. Uh, let me know if y'all like it. Stay tuned, you know, uh, Monday and Thursday. If y'all like the video, uh, hit your boy with a sub. Um, like the video if you liked it. Throw a comment down below. I'd love to hear anything from y'all. How y'all doing? What was your favorite part of the video? Who's your favorite Doki Doki character? Characters are awesome in this game. Don't love the, the MC, but we're gonna work on that. Um, maybe we can do something about that. We'll see. Make sure to check out my Twitter and Discord. I'll have links to them down below. Um, and that's pretty much it. If y'all got anything you want me to play, hit me up in my Discord. Um, I got a little channel for that. You can do that at. And that's pretty much it. It's been real. Hope y'all had a good time. Love y'all. Peace! <laughs> oh, he's literally might want to let her handle that player. Big and big. <laughs> oh, yo! Oh my god, yo, this game!